Hello everyone, this is Satish from Paraguide Technology. Today I am going to describe how to create and deploy processes in Alfresco Activity. I am using the community version of Alfresco Activity. For this video I have uh, considered the vacation request as an example. So yeah, let's start create the process. For that you need to login into the activity. I am using current my account. So to create the process you need to go to the process menu and there you can see there are three options like my instance then deployed process and model workspace. To create the new process you need to go to the model workspace and uh, you have to create the new model for your uh, new process. So let's click on a new model and enter the details. Name would be the like vacation process or vacation request. In the description like the process to handle the vacations select the activity modeler and click on create it will open the the process designer on the left side of the process designer you can see there are different options these are the bpm and shapes which are uh, mostly used to create the processes and right side is the content area so let's start creating the vacation request so let's take the start event enter the details for it start. value with the start then for the then for start event you need to define the form properties so that whenever the user click on the start process to create the new vacation the activity should ask some input details for it so just click just create the form properties it's like uh, start date type of date second is days name will be the number of days string the number is details click on save the next step for vacation request is the manager approval so let's try and drop the user task connect start event to the user task enter the user details so for this user task you need to assign the user so that activity can create the task for that particular user so i am assigning it to the commit user this is the demo user activity creates by itself also to take action on this user task we need to add a form properties like the status for vacation request so so this is the enum type of variable we need to add with the status like uh, approved Rejected. Third one is like a resubmit. Resubmit or adjust. Resubmit. Click on 
ना सेम सो द नेक्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ दिस द वेकेशन वर्क फ्लो इज डिपेंड्स अपॉन द व्हाट स्टेटस यूजर हैज सिलेक्टेड इन मैनेजर अप्रूवल टास्क सो फॉर दैट वी नीड टू ऐड द गेटवेज एंड वी नीड टू डिफाइन द कंडीशंस फॉर द फ्लो सो लेट्स ऐड फॉर व्हेन द स्टेटस इज रिजेक्टेड वी आर सेंडिंग a rejection mail to the requester so let's add that we need to define the condition for the sequence flow so you can add the condition like this status equal to equal to rejected enter the details Like if manager uh, select the status as and rejected, so we are sending a mail to the user. So we are I have selected the mail task here. So you can drag and drop the mail task from here also. So just list. Let's enter the details for mail task. subject like your vacation request is rejected by manager we need to add the body for mail also save it so if this this is this flow is for if the manager select the status as a rejected and the workflow end here so for other like if the status is uh, approved or resubmit for that also we need to define the flow for workflow so just for that we need to add another gateway and add condition like if status not equal to rejected and from this gateway add another mail task for the status accepted so let's drag and drop the mail task connect this workflow to the mail task and add condition here like if sorry status equal to equal to accepted like the rejection mail we need to define the values for acceptance mail also like a rejection and acceptance 
we have another status also resubmit so, so for that also we need to add the sequence flow so just add it like when uh, manager select the resubmit we need to create the task for the the requester so that he can adjust his vacation and uh, vacation and it again goes to the for manager approval so let's add another user task and connect this gateway to this user task and add condition like if status equal to equal to resubmit save it so our details for this user task I am assigning this user task to my user and after completing this task it again goes to the manager of work enter the details for the process variables also like my vacation request to save the process you need to click on save the model it will ask to save and close the editor or just only save if you want to edit or add more information to the process workflow so just click on save and close editor so to the deploy this process you need to go to the model actions and you can see there are different options just click on the deploy so the activity has deployed the process so again you can go to the processes and deployed process definition you can see the deployed process that we have just created my vacation request So here we are done with the process creation and the process deployment. To execute the process, you need to click on the start process button on the menu bar. So to start the vacation request, click on the start process. It, the activity will ask for the details that we have defined on the start event. So just select that. Uh, the start date would be like 28th number of days like 4 days details like going for Diwali vacation and click on a start process so the activity says that process has started so to find out the status of the process you can click on a my instance and you can select the process instance so for for our vacation request you can see the process is running and it is currently in manager approval state as we as i have as we have assigned this manager approval task to the another user kermit we need to log in with that user and we need to complete that task so for that just log out it so we need to log in with the commit user enter the credentials and click on the login so you can see under the task menu in inbox you can see there is a manager approval task that is created for the our vacation request so we need to select the status whether it is approve, reject or resubmit just I am selecting the reject and click on a complete task so here you can see the activity is processing the request for the task 
and your task manager approval is completed so again i am logging with the my user so you can see here under my instances the instance which are running for my vacation request is completed because after selecting the reject it the process is sending rejection mail and it goes to the process end so you can see i have received a email that your vacation request is rejected by your manager to see the history of the process you can go to the manage under administration and go to the complete completed process here you can select see the re entry for the my vacation request you can select it and you can see the whole status of the process the status is completed and these are the details that we have entered for our vacation request So yeah, like this vacation request process example, you can create number of processes in activity based upon your business logic. Yeah, thanks for watching video. Have a good day. Bye.